thanks guys. Lunch was great. Thanks you, James, for having us out. Um, I'm going to do how I learned to stop patching everything and love the data. So now I have 15 seconds on this title slide, so I'm already off to an amazing start on my first Ignite <laughs> talk. So it's five, four, three. There you go. About me. Uh, my name is Jerry Gamblin. I'm the security engineer at Kenna Security. I run the whole security team, the auditing team. Um, you can find me on Twitter, at jgamblin. All my thoughts that aren't work-related go at jerrygamblin.com. Uh, before I went to Kenna, I led this technical security team at Carfax. If you don't know Carfax, they're the world's largest data company. They have over 1,500 data points on every car in America. So we had a lot of servers with a lot of IP addresses and a lot of data centers. Uh, and over 140 apps. There was a somebody up here who spoke and said, who knows where all their apps were? I know now because we have one SaaS. I didn't know then because we had 140. But I had a lot of money, so I had every network tool that you could think of. I had all the scanners. You know, I had Tenable, I had Qualys, I had Rapid7. Um, anybody that, that asked me for money, I basically gave it to them. <laughs> and I had all the results, right? I had page after page after page of results. Uh, since these were being recorded, I won't use real numbers, but in my role now, I know that every server, every Linux server has roughly 200 vulnerabilities open on it. Um, and I had the challenges that everybody had, right? The increasing volume of vulnerabilities, the highly publicized vulnerabilities that your boss always comes in that asks you about that doesn't matter. Um, and then I had these CVE issues, right? CVEs are doubling every year since 2018, the number. And thanks to our friends at GitHub, um, we're thinking that's going to quadruple in the next year because they're going to auto-file CVEs for all, for all plug vulner vulnerabilities. Um, my old boss used to love the Wall Street Journal, made him feel really smart, I guess. But every time there was a vulnerability in it, he would come and he would get the, hey, why don't you, why don't you patch this? We also run into the no single source, and that's what this conference is really about, right? The DevSecOps stack. From everything from the bare metal with your, with your vulnerabilities that land there, up through your Docker and your VM vulnerabilities, all the way into the code. And while your code has the most valuable vulnerabilities, the one you spend most of your time working on is in the middle of this stack, kind of in the, in the sandwich area, from the VM to the hypervisor, to your Docker container. But there are a ton of tools and nobody can use them all, right? The overlap on these tools is about 85% from our investigation. So for every one or two you have, you're, you're not getting that much, much thing. This is what I wanted to talk to you guys about today though. At the end of the day, for every 100 CVEs that are on your network, only 0.8 of them have exploit code available. So at the end of the day, you only have to worry about less than 1% of the CVEs that are on your machine being actively exploited. That's, to put that in odds, because we talk about this a lot, is that it's way easier to just guess and patch on your systems and secure your network than it is to just try to patch everything. Because most of the time, if you're just going through and I'm just going to patch all the systems, you're going to miss it. There's no simple rule-based system for choosing vulnerabilities to remediate. If you're just gonna say, I'm just gonna patch everything that's CVSS five and above, you're gonna miss some threes that are being actively exploited that got scored wrong. You have to use the data. There, there's ways to do this op with open source, but the best thing you can do is, we, we open sourced a, and, and wrote a white paper called uh, EPSS, I will put a link on the Twitter, but it helps you speed up your speed up your prioritization of what's going on on your network. Um, the number of CVEs, as we talked about, is just growing every every year, and no one team can keep up with it, especially when you're expecting non-security people like developers and and converted operations people <laughs> to work on this. You have to come up with a strategy that's not. I'm just going to patch everything and hope that it's okay. Uh, if you'd like to talk to me after this about 
our open source projects, I'm happy to do it. We also sell a commercial project, a product through Kenna Security uh, that, I'll, that I would also talk to you guys about. So thank you very much.